My new drone's here. Oh my god, it's so small. I love this thing already. Without having to press anything, it comes and lands right in front of me. How good is that? First flight was successful. One key lesson learned is don't fly when the sun is that close to the horizon unless you have ND filters because it's going to mean everything's blown out. You can see those photos that I took they look good, but a lot of the details are lost because the sun was that close to the horizon and it caused overexposure all around the image. So aim to shoot between the hours of say 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. when the sun is overhead. Because remember, the drone captures everything beneath it. So if the sun is above it, you will be problem free. Okay, so that was awesome. The Mavic Air is the perfect hybrid between the Spark and the Mavic Pro. So I wanna share with you guys my top three pros and cons for shooting in asteroid mode with the Mavic Air. The first pro is the size. This thing is so small, it can literally fit in your pocket. It really does make a difference not having to carry around a big bag. Just like with the 360 camera, the smaller your camera, the more likely you are to be able to take it out and get awesome shots whenever you want, not only when you have a big backpack with you. So the size is a massive win for the Mavic Air. It comes with this case and I love this thing. It's so small, so handy, and very easy to transport your Mavic Air without it getting damaged. The first con is the exposure. As you guys saw, I was shooting around sunset and everything was fine when it was shooting in close, capturing me waving at the camera. But as it went out into the tiny planet, the edges of the planet were clearly overexposed and it totally blew everything out and it affected the darker areas of the image. This isn't an issue when you're shooting in the middle of the day and the sun is overhead, but you will want to be careful whenever you have strong, harsh sunlight and the sun is on the side of the panorama. One way to help combat this is buying ND filters for the air. They just clip on. I'll put a link down in the description to where you can get them. I've got some on order from Gearbest, so that is a solution for evening out your exposure. The next pro is the ease of use. This thing is so easy to use. I haven't flown a drone in about six months and I was able to pick it up and fly straight away and get awesome shots. The app is so easy to use, it's so intuitive. It will take a bit of setting up to begin with, linking the controller and connecting the app to the drone, but once you've gotten past that, you'll be able to take this thing out of your backpack and be shooting within two to three minutes. And a lot of the shooting modes do everything for you. All you need to do is just tap the screen and it will fly up and take a tiny planet, fly back down in front of you and wait for its next command. It is so easy to use. Even an idiot like me can fly this thing with ease. Mm. 
The next con of the Mavic Air is to do with wind. While it does do a good job at fighting wind, when you are shooting a pano with this thing, you're taking around 10 to 20 photos, and if there's any wind whatsoever, it will affect the stitch. So it will help going out on a less windy day, and you may need to retake your tiny planets a few times to get it just right. I would say over 50% of my asteroids ended up with stitching issues, so it is something you will need to redo and redo. However, it is worth doing that because you're going to end up with an awesome result in the end, so you just need a little bit of patience. The next pro is you can do everything on your phone, not only the shooting of your 360s and your drone shots, but the editing as well. You don't need to go to your computer to do anything. Like with 360 cameras, a mobile workflow is going to save you so much time in the long run, so it's really handy being able to edit straight from the drone. You can connect wirelessly to your phone download as much footage as you want and edit right there within the DJI app and send to your social media channels. Speaking of social media, the final con is to do with the aspect ratio when you upload to social media. While the asteroid starts as a 16 by nine window as it's close on you and it zooms out, by the end of it, it crops into a square. This is absolutely fine on Instagram. If you're shooting for Instagram, it will go natively with the square format of Instagram. However, if you're uploading anywhere else, you're going to be getting black bars come in from either side and turn it into a square. This is kind of annoying and I hope they fix this in a future firmware update. I can see the DJI drones are getting more and more 360 and pano friendly. So hopefully they'll take the hint and patch in the sides so the end of that movement isn't quite as jarring. Overall, I'd say this is the best drone I've ever owned. It's so easy to use. You can do everything in minutes. Once you get the hang of it, you do need to practice a bit, but once you have a basic understanding of the overall workflow of the drone, you'll be shooting amazing tiny planets and drone shots in minutes. Just like with the Spark, the Mavic Air also has sphere mode, which means it takes a 360 photo from the sky in all directions and stitches it together into a high res panorama. I won't cover that too much in this video, but just letting you guys know it does have it and that is another awesome feature for us 360 photographers because it means you don't need a 360 camera and you don't have to hoist your 360 camera up into the air and risk it falling off and dying a slow explosive death. If you're thinking of picking up a Mavic Air, I've arranged some coupon codes for you guys to buy the Mavic Air on its own or the Fly More Kit on gearbest.com. From what I've seen, these are the cheapest prices on the internet, so check the description of this video and there very well may be a coupon code. I can't promise you it's going to last forever, but I'll try my best to keep updating it and keep giving you guys that really good deal. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there for more drone tutorials, 360 camera tutorials, reviews, comparisons. You don't want to miss out because we've got some awesome stuff coming out really, really soon. Until next time, be sure to capture your world in 360. And me and the Mavic Air, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.